Welcome to my another video about subnetting. I'm going to show you how to do a, a subnet calculations for a class B networks. It's a little bit different and I guess the major thing is that people may not know. You just need to know where you need to start uh, to do calculations. So let's do a class B subnet calculations. So I pick the IP address uh, right here. It's a uh, 172.16.100.33 with a uh, class B subnet mask of 255, 255.252.0. Uh, and this is how it's written in binary. <coughs> okay. Now, for a class B networks, you have to know where to start doing your calculations. And I change the colors to show you. This is the boundary for class B networks right here which is the second octet. So all your mass calculations will become the third and fourth octet. Okay, that's very important. Uh, <coughs> so when you want to know how many networks and hosts are available using a mask, let's say with 252.0, uh, you know you have to start from here and here. Okay, so let's find number of networks. Basically, if you see my previous video of class C subnets, uh, you have to know how many ones are in the mask. And because this is the boundary, we always stop at the boundary. So we're counting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six ones. That means two to, b to the power of six, which gives us number of networks, which is uh, 64. So let me write this down here. <coughs> Number of networks. 2 to the power of 6, which means uh, 6 ones gives you number of networks using this subnet. And each network is going to have so many hosts. And to find out how many hosts is available, you count number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's basically 2 to the power of 10 which gives you 1024 right here so we got 1024 available addresses but we cannot use 2 so we have to subtract 2 from it which gives us right here, let me type it uh, <coughs> equal 10 22. So this is how many hosts you can have using this mask uh, on each network. So you can have 64 networks with uh, 1022 hosts available. So let's find uh, what the subnet address is. To find out what the subnet address is, you need to take the IP address and the mask and you have to do end operation between them. So I took the last two octets and I convert them to binary. So it's right here. <coughs> that 133 convert to binary is this. And the mask, it's this one right here. I'm sorry, this is not the mask. <laughs> The mass is actually this one, so let's see if I can just copy that. Control C. Actually, it's this one. There you go. Okay, so this is your mask of 252 right here. Okay, so you need to do end operation, and to do end operation, uh, every time you have, uh, when you add numbers in binary, it's not adding, it's just uh, doing operations. So in the end operation, to have a logical uh, one, you need to have two ones on. So uh, zero and one will give you zero, one and one gives you one, 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 zero, one, zero, and so on. And our result is this right here. <coughs> So this is our answer when you do end operation. So you only can have a 1 when there's two ones. Uh, when you convert this to a decimal, 
it will give you this right here one hundred dot zero so when you do your calculations by hand or by calculator uh, during the test you cannot use calculate so you have to uh, do it by hand uh, anyway uh, this is one hundred dot zero and to find our broadcast address basically what you need to do if you take the mask and the boundary is right here let me draw the boundary the boundary is right here if you can see it maybe I can get a thicker line <coughs> so this is our boundary because this is the mask so when you draw the line uh, right after the last one and you take your broad, uh, subnet address and you change these zeros into ones will give you a broadcast address which is this right here okay so I left these unchanged and I just change uh, these zeros into ones and this is my broadcast address when you convert it into decimal it will give you like this okay so this IP address which is on class B subnet lies within 100.0 to 103.255 now to find the host range you basically need to subtract one which is uh, or you uh, you do plus one and minus one so this is going to be 100.1 and the broadcast will be 103.254 and this is my range right here and there you go and this is how you do it I mean it's very simple you don't need to memorize any tables you just have to do everything in binary and just remember a couple rules okay so let's go recap uh, what we learned <coughs> to do a class B subnet calculations you have to know where the boundary is for class B which is the uh, second uh, end of the second octet beginning of the third one I changed the colors to show you to find number of networks you do count how many ones are in the mask in this case is 6 2 to the power of 6 gives you 64 which is 64 networks to find my hosts you count how many zeros are in the mask in this case is 10 so it's 2 to the power of 10 gives you 1024 you subtract 2 because you cannot use your know, subnet address and broadcast address so it gives you uh, uh, 1022 addresses 1022 uh, to find your subnet address you have to do end operation between uh, two numbers I convert them to binary and the end operation result is here uh, which convert to decimal gives you 100 that's zero and to find to find your broadcast address basically you take uh, you have to know where your mask is and you copy uh, the numbers uh, within the mask and after the mask which is the zeros you have to convert them to ones when you convert them into the decimal it gives you 103.255 and of course this is our host range which you just add one here and you minus one here and this is your range um, I hope this video is informational and you learned something new I'll try to do a uh, class A subnetting um, very soon thank you bye